What is up everybody? Welcome back to the garage and today we are diving back into the VCM scanner to try and figure out some of the issues that we run into as tuners. Now, uh, there's about four, three or four things that will happen that will cause 90% of the issues that we deal with uh, whenever we are data logging and trying to process the data logs into uh the tables into the graphs things like that so before we jump over to the tune screen i want to say thank you to all the new subscribers out there if you've not already subscribed click the button you got nothing to lose all you're going to do is learn how to tune so make sure also ring that bell that way you don't miss out on things like the live shows because they're a hoot love the more people that show up the more fun that we have so and then on top of it if you find any of this information useful please please click that thumbs up button that helps to get the information out to new faces brings new family members into the garage and i appreciate that so that all being said let's jump over to the tune screen here let's take a look at what we got see if we can sort some of this stuff out right away we are on EQ error and it is flatlined. You'll see this a lot. And normally whenever we're logging something like that, we want the graph to populate out on both axes, both the row and the columns. In this case, we've only got one row. The X or the uh, columns are filling in properly. Whenever you see this, it is an indication that you are not getting proper data. And in this case, we are not getting proper data for our row uh, our rows here so in and i can tell right away why it is this is a pressure ratio map and there's not barometric pressure being logged on this because this is not a fifth gen if you're a fifth gen doing ve tuning you need pressure ratio but let's not get hung up on that what is going on though is if we come into our graphs layout go down to our eq error and see we are using pressure ratio which is a user math we then can come into our tools go into our math parameters and look at it and boom there it is you notice how it is highlighted pink it's red that means that we are not logging that parameter so our math is ineffective it's, it's not working the math is not working so we cannot move down the rows so that is one of the big things that you'll see right off the bat is if for some reason if you're on a 2d chart and it flatlines in one spot check it if you're using math or make sure if it's just a single parameter that that parameter is in your list over here now the second issue we might have is whenever we have uh, a blank empty box this one might move around we'll see might be flatlined also but you can see this it's moving around but it's not populating data well this can be a couple things uh first if you notice there is the red box around here which means we have filtering going on so we need to double check our filtering to make sure that is not uh what is killing us Okay, we don't have a function in there. So there, if there were a function in here, that could effectively be keeping information for populating in the blue box as it moves. But since we don't have a function in here, that means that this parameter is not generating data. And if you look at it, once again, it is a user math. So if we go over to the VE user math, we're going to be missing a parameter once again. Boom, we're missing two parameters in this case. So the, once again, it is an issue where the math is not getting enough information because it doesn't have the correct parameters in the parameter list to generate the output of the math, which then just generates a blue box that moves around and does not populate any data in it. But if you were to look at something, see if this one has any data in it. This one's maxed out the other way. Same ordeal, our row uh, is not calculating the cylinder air mass properly. But there's also some filtering happening on this that could be causing some of the data to not be appropriate. And this is looks to be a position sensor throttle over 10% or something like, no, timing over 10%. But those are some of the big, big issues that we run into whenever we're doing scanning and getting these flat areas where the chart is not populating properly or the number is uh, not showing up as the, the chart moves around properly. Now, one of the other issues that we run into a lot specifically is if you have a uh, wide band that is being brought in through serial. And this, in this case, is that's what I have. I'm using the serial to USB adapter that everything looks fine. You connect up to the video, 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 blah, 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 blah. the vehicle, soon as you start scanning though, this parameter disappears. And you can stop, disconnect, reconnect, this parameter's gone until you shut down the scanner and then you turn it back on 
and then this parameter will disappear. Now that is a communications issue with the USB adapter. It happens quite commonly. Uh, and the quickest and easiest way, sometimes it's not the quickest for us guys that are using old laptops, is to reboot your laptop or boot your laptop up with the USB adapter already plugged in. This generally stems from plugging in the USB adapter whenever the laptop's already on and something gets wonky on the initialization process and it causes it to drop that PID out. So just keep an eye out for that. If that happens, that'll give you some insight as to what is going on there. And that pretty much sums up all of our issues. A lot of it has to do with not having the correct data coming in uh, onto your graph. And, and so you just need to trace it from the graph back into the uh, parameter point to make sure that it's there. So if it's flatlined, uh, you can see where sometimes it will flatline in just one column and you'll just have data in one column like this. That means that your uh, column parameter up top might be uh, not being brought in. You don't see that as often because usually this is not math. This is usually just a directly linked to a specific parameter. But a lot of times on the uh, rows parameters, we are using math, especially on later generations where we have we don't have PIDs for things like pressure ratio. It is a calculated number that we have to put in there. And then, of course, as I said, the other one being that you're just not getting any data. Your blue box is bouncing around everywhere as you're driving, but you're not getting any data in there. So double check. Make sure you're not filtering that data out and then check that parameter, the input parameter, as we call it, of the graph here. Uh, and make sure that that, if it's math, once again, that everything is logged back in there. So, I mean, quick and dirty, these are going to be the things that you see probably 90% of the time. Uh, just that way, you're not banging your head against the wall. Because I've been there before. I've had frustrations of like, why is this thing not working? Uh, just, you got to take your time, walk through the proper steps, check everything out. And you'll usually find... A missing piece somewhere along the way so hey that's it if you have any questions or if you have any other problems with the scanner that you deal with regularly hit up the comments below let me know what they are or you know if you have any solutions to common problems that I haven't touched on right here make sure and let me know what those are also so I can share them with everybody uh, I want to take you I want to thank you not take you I want to thank you for taking the time for stopping by watching another video here at the garage and uh, as always check out the Thursday live show uh, ABT Always be tuning, and thanks for stopping by the garage, everybody.